Hi, my name is Pat, and I'm going to give you some 2012 Windows 7 tips and tricks. The first tip I'm going to give you is if you want to ever see anything on a web page or on your screen magnified or super magnified, all you've got to do is hold on the Windows key or yeah, tap down the Windows key on your keyboard. It's the key that looks like a window. It's got a Windows picture on it. Hold that key down and hit the plus key. Now automatically put, bring up the magnifier and the magnifier will magnify your screen. It automatically it starts off at 200% default and you can increase it more if you want to. And when you're finished with the magnifier you can just hit the close, bu close button and it's done. Back to normal. It's all of your way. Next tip I want to give you is a way you can make a super duper high powered control panel shortcut right on your desktop. You would first open up a new folder right and create a new folder on your desktop new folder and then you'd want to name your folder. At this time I'm going to show you some text and you want to name your folder exactly as you see this text. Okay, you want to take this text you see and copy or you have to pause this video and type it out exactly as you see it. In my case, I'll copy and paste it. Control C for copy. I'll minimize this window. And I'll right click on this to rename it. Control V for paste. And then hit enter and watch what's going to happen to this, this folder. The folder, I had this already so you didn't see it change, but this is what the folder is going to change into. A control panel diagram. It's going to turn this into a super control panel diagram, which enables you to double click and on your desktop is going to open up a control the control panel. But unlike a regular control panel, this has like 250 some features or adjustments in it. So it gives you a tremendous detailed access to various parts of your control panel and it's very easy and convenient when it's at your desktop so I hope this tip helps you I found it a very nice tool to have conveniently set on my desktop the next tip I'm sure you've all had a program lock up and you try to hit the control alt delete button and that doesn't always work if it's frozen it's frozen something that may help you tremendously if you just go into your start menu and type in the words or the letters R E S M O N and you've got the resmon you double click on that icon it's going to open up your resource monitor CPU is what you want to have checked it's going to show your various programs, also your CPU usage, which is kind of a nice feature. But if you want to close a particular folder, I've got nothing locked up. If you'd say if you have something locked up, right click on snag it, end process, and that would, if you hit yes, that would end the process. And that's all you have to do to end or stop a locked up program that nothing else seems to unlock short of rebooting your computer. Hope tip number three helped you. This next tip is just an easy way not to screw up your search for numerous windows. Say if you're in Windows Explorer and you want to delete some pictures or select some, you normally hit control and then click, 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 click but you do something wrong and all these clicks are wiped out well I've got mine I'm kinda cheated I've got a new feature on mine which you see the check marks and to set these check marks which is another way of doing things so you won't get things blitzed out uh, you go to the organize you go to folder and search options and you go to the view option and all you've got to do is go down near the bottom and you'll see Use check, use check box to select items. This is normally checked off. Then you'd hit the OK.
they're just you check them automatically and then you've got them all set and then you can just copy them or move them and open them a different program whatever you want to do now on to the next here's another control panel tip if you want easy access to the control panel besides using this unit right here another tip you can do right click and do properties then you be sure you're in the start menu okay next thing you can do is click on the customize button where it's the control panel display as menu and then you would hit OK and then hit OK again now when you go into your start menu bar the control panel will have an arrow next to it and when you click on that it's going to open all the features of the control panel right there on your desktop just another easy way to access the basic features of the control panel without having to go into the control panel and do all the various settings from there. Well, here's a tip if you've got a lot of video files you want to access from the start menu to make life easier. Uh, right now you can go in the start menu and it just shows some of your basic files you've got here. What you can do is you can right click properties start menu again customize scroll down to the bottom you'll see videos display as a menu hit OK and OK or apply now you go to the start menu it suddenly shows your video videos you hover over that or click on it it just shows your various video files so that's just pretty neat so that's just something else you can uh, do from your start menu to make life much easier Now here is one more tip. You can access the internet from your start menu, of course, providing you have internet set up. Click on your start menu. You type in gpedit dot msc and then hit enter. Okay, now you want to double click user configuration administrative templates start menu and taskbar yes, then you'll double click on add search internet to start menu it would normally say not configured but you would click enabled and then you just hit OK and close things down then you can click in down here and you would go like but so your dot com and then you've got the option search the internet lo and behold that's going to open up that website well, it should open your custom canvas dot com there and that that opens a website for you so that's just the way to search the internet from your browser from your start menu I hope these tips did you some good. Please put like if you enjoyed this video and please add some comments and feel free to subscribe to get more hot tips and trips, tricks as they come about. Thank you for watching. This is Pat. One more mega bonus tip I want to just bring up real quick. It's not actually a tip, it's just something you might want to have for sure. If you've got more than one computer, there's a, something called Dropbox. Most of you computer nerds have probably heard about it, but if you haven't, if you would go, I think, dropbox.com or just Google and Dropbox, but you can download that on various computers, and whatever computer has it locked together, you can you put a password and you, you, you have the same uh, code on both computers, two or three or four different computers, and if you're on your computer and you open Dropbox and you have something you want to drop and you have a certain file or picture or whatever you want to drop into Dropbox you would just drop it into there and uh, whatever gets dropped into Dropbox uh, box on one computer will upload to their server and automatically go on to your other computer so if you've got one computer in a different state even the Dropbox 
will put that folder from your computer to the same Dropbox as long as they're tied together with the password or whatever you put in there. It will, will the same thing will be on all the drop boxes that are linked together. It's just a phenomenal free feature. You can upgrade to have larger stores, but that's one of the neatest things I've ever seen, I think, in my life. Uh, check out Dropbox. It's fantastic.